Welcome back to NHL tonight. A decade ago in Torino, Italy, it was Team Sweden atop the hockey world, winning the Olympic gold medal. And then in Sochi, they finished second to Team Canada, winning the silver, their World Junior Championship gold in 12, and a total of three World Championships. This is a team that has enjoyed international success and a key figure in that international success, Henrik Lundqvist. Our Jamie Hirsch went one-on-one -on -one with him earlier. Henrik, you've had such success on the world stage, but what is it about the World Cup of Hockey that is so unique and special? Well, I think, uh, first of all, you have the best players here. Uh, I think that's very exciting for all of us that are here playing. Uh, you step on the ice and you know it's going to be a great challenge. Uh, it doesn't matter who you face, what country. Uh, it's stacked with really good players. And then I think the excitement in itself from, from fans and, and media and, and everybody's wondering uh, how is this going to play out. Uh, and as a player, it's, it, it's exciting to, to know that we're going into a tournament here where uh, you know it's a lot of attention focus here and uh, who's going to win. And um, I think there's a lot of countries that want to be number one right now. With all the teams, especially that new North American team, would you say that this is about as wide open a tournament that you've seen in a long time? Yeah, I would say so. I think Canada obviously have a really strong team playing here in Toronto as well. They, they, they're probably super excited to try to win this one. But uh, when you look at all the teams here, there, there's, uh, there's a lot of different different uh, teams that can go all the way, I think. Uh, and uh, it comes down to just getting, getting your game going here at the right time. When it's only a, a one semifinal, uh, anything can happen. Really, F final, uh, what, it's best of three games. It's a little, I think it's it's a good thing you're doing that. But going into a semifinal and, and everything on the line, uh, there's a lot of different teams in this tournament that, that can that can win. There was some concern regarding your health. How are you feeling going into the tournament? Uh, I feel good. Uh, I get hit in the rib area and. and uh, sore there for a few days. Uh, I know it's going to hurt a little bit for, for a few weeks, but uh, it's fine. And nothing really that, that bothers me when I'm out on the ice. I try just to focus on, on stopping the play. Looking forward to seeing you and the rest of Team Sweden in the World Cup of Hockey. Thank you for the time. Thank you very much. Thanks. Great to hear that Henrik Lundqvist feels good because his numbers in the pre-tournament action, not good. Yeah. 777 save percentage, one. Two, allowing four and a half goals per game. What do you make of it? Well, I, I mean, it's hard to judge a guy in two games and say, well, his stats, you know, we need to get all worried about Henrik Lundqvist. Uh, but there's no question that he didn't have a very good uh, pre-tournament uh, round. And this is uncharacteristic of the Henrik Lundqvist that we are typically used to seeing, which is a guy who's very sharp. Uh, he did not look very sharp in the prelim preliminary games. Uh, and, and it gets more difficult, Tony, as you get older with age to come in and be sharp uh, like you are in the middle of the season. And for Henrik Lundqvist, uh, he's the big question mark that I have for Sweden because if Henrik Lundqvist plays the way he did in the preliminary rounds, uh, Sweden's going to be in trouble. They got a great uh, defense, probably the best defense uh, of any team in the tournament. But if Henrik Lundqvist is, uh, is below average, the way he was in the preliminary tournament, this is really going to hurt Sweden's chances. He's got to find a way to get his game going and get it going fast. Here's what we know about Henrik Lundqvist with the Rangers. He wins 30 games a year every year. I mean, that's unbelievable. Yeah. Number two, his starts have not always been the best. Last year excluded, mm -hmm. Elaine Vigneault went to him and said, we need you to be sharp right away. Boom. First month of the season, he was sharp. The previous years, not so much. Right. Is what we're seeing more of that, or is it the mileage that you touched on? Well, th there could be mileage on Henrik Lundqvist. Let's face it, this guy's played a lot of big hockey games, a lot of big minutes, a lot of taxing minutes where he's had to be uh, at his very best. I mean, there's not been a lot of uh, room for error in Her Henrik Lundqvist's game with the New York Rangers, uh, or even on the international stage for that matter. And it, it, this takes its toll on a guy. I mean, he's not getting any younger. I'm not suggesting that uh, that he's done uh, by any stretch, but what I'm saying is it becomes difficult as you get older to find your game early on. And with the time off and you're stepping into a situation where this is high-level uh, hockey, uh, it can be hard for a guy. And right now, Lundqvist had a tough preliminary tournament. I think the questions that 
we're asking as to whether or not he's going to be sharp in this tournament, tournament are fair. Uh, it, like I say, when you get to 34, 35 years old, you're not a spring chicken anymore. You're not 26, 25. It's tough to bounce back. It's tough to get your timing. And he has a lot of hard miles. Let's face it, a lot of tough hockey games he's played. But if he can be the Henrik Lundqvist that we know, uh, this Sweden team is going to be very tough to beat.